What's up YouTube, Top Pick Kicks here, and today my top pick is another exclusive early access shoe. Yesterday I brought you the review on the uh, Air Jordan 4 Fire Red that I actually got lucky and my wife hit on for my birthday. Uh, they had a shock drop on the sneakers app and I got those yesterday. The very next day I got early access to a shoe that comes out, I want to say in two, no not even two weeks. I think it's on November 9th to be honest, don't quote me on that, but... Anyway, let's get into it. I'm not going to hold you guys up. This is the Nike Dunk Low SP. The colorway is veneer, deep purple, size 11 and a half, my personal size. Retail on these are $100. Now, all you guys know, Dunks are the hottest shoe out there um, when it comes to resale. Uh, so I haven't figured out yet if I want to keep these or sell them because right now, the last time I looked, these shoes were going for over $300. Uh, some of them are going up to $400. So when, when you see the colorway, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't know if I could rock with them. Um, I think I may be a little too old, but let's check them out. So the box, just a normal standard Nike box. You do not have the SB. Uh, that is because this is not a SB. This is just a normal dunk, a Nike dunk glow. And that says SP, not SB. SB would be your skateboarding shoe with your thick tongue. This is just an SP uh, again, but these shoes are crazy. I mean, look at that. Look at that shoe. Um, I, personally, I'm going to call these the Donatello's because for some reason they remind me of a, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And I think it was Donatello that had the purple uh, bandana. That, you could also call these the Jokers too. They kind of remind me or give me that kind of joker vibe as well. But let's get both of them out of the box and do a quick review on them. All right, y'all, so here they are, out of the box. Uh, again, the Nike, these are the Nike Dunk Veneer. These are part of the Ugly Duckling uh, pack. I wanna say they were released in Tokyo uh, back in the early 2000s or, or mid 2000s. Uh, and then they were released again uh, this year in America. The first shoe that released was the Plum colorway. And now you've got the veneer colorway. The plum colorway had this purple and green on as well. I think it was kind of more flipped a little bit, more so of a, of a purple plum colored shoe. Uh, but on this one, let's get into, well, let's, let's start at the bottom. You do have your normal uh, Nike Dunk uh, outsole here, and that's in that purple. Your midsole is you got your purple and you've got your white, so nothing special there. But then you get into the materials. That's what makes, I, I don't understand how these shoes are only $100 for, for, for the retail price when you have this kind of material on this shoe. You don't even get two and $250 shoes with this kind of suede material on them. Uh, I mean, you do get some, but not, I mean, the 100 bucks. I can see why these resell for so much. And not only that, but, but there's also a lot of hype right now on these type of shoes. But let's, let's take a look at it. You do have this green right here that runs up the shoe down here and this is a nice fine suede very good materials on the shoe again really 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 soft you can i'm barely touching that and you can see how how that shoe just compresses down and then pops back out so really nice suede material you have this brown suede on the toe box as you can see as i'm rubbing my my finger across it it is a very nice suede, changes colors uh so super nice suede right there you do have it on your mid panel as well Getting around the shoe, you have this purple swoosh, which is in a, to me, this is a little bit longer hair suede than, than the brown and the, and the green. It's just a little more of a, of a longer hair suede. Going around to the back of the shoe, you have your classic stitched in Nike that you have on your Nike dunks. So that's there. Again, you have the suede here. And this material right here, I don't, it's more of like a, maybe like a nylon maybe kind of material running around your upper right here uh, and going around the side of your shoe so getting to the to the medial to the inside of the shoe there's really nothing different guys so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take your time on that but that's that's basically the inside of the shoe uh, let's look at you have this kind of a it looks more of a lime green on my camera right now but it's not it's not really a lime green it's more of kind of that zen green colorway that you might have saw on them Jordan ones but you do have that, and then on the inside, you have that lime green insole with that purple Nike branding. Um, and then, 
So then let's get around and let's take a look at the uh, at the tongue, and then I'll give you a quick final review. So your tongue, you do have this nylon tongue running up to the top. You have a green Nike uh, patch right here with uh, Nike embroidered, or not, it's not embroidered, it's just on the patch, Nike in purple. So you have this green, uh, the whole shoe really is green, purple, and brown. I know that the colorway said, uh, what did the colorway say? Veneer in deep purple. So I'm, uh, uh, y'all tell me, is the veneer the brown or is the veneer the green? I'm not, I'm not really sure on that. I'm not, I call it green and brown. I don't know about veneer. But anyway, that's a quick look at the Nike Dunk in case you guys were wanting to pick them up. Again, they're, they're not out yet. I got uh, early access. I got lucky. I don't know what's going on with me in the sneakers app right now. It's pretty cool, though. I hope it keeps up, keeps going. But, yeah, I hope you like the the, the quick look at them. Uh, I'm not going to do an own feed on these because I'm going to be 100% honest with y'all. I don't know if I'm going to resell these yet. I think I probably may. I mean, I just can't. I like the shoe, and the materials are outstanding, but... These would probably sit in my shoe box. I, I can't see me walking around with, with these shoes on. Uh, so, and, and if I was younger and I was a skateboarder or if I was just younger, period, maybe I'd rock with these and I, I would wear them. But I don't know if I can pull it off, guys. And $400, that could go to a nice pair of uh, uh, of mochas, right? So <laughs> I, I, I could wear the mochas most definitely. But anyway, one final spin. Uh, if I had to give it anything, I would say these are, you know, a, a great, the material, $100 shoe, great material, definitely would probably give these an 8 out of 10. For me, it would probably be a 6 out of 10, uh, but for others, I'm not going to give it a 6 out of 10 just because I can't wear it. That's not fair to the shoe. It does have great materials. It does look cool. Uh, it does look like a, kind of like a work of art to me. Uh, I like the colors, but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, if y'all look, if y'all are trying to pick them up, good luck to y'all. As always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I got more videos coming. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Until next time, top pick kicks. Y'all take care.